Steve here at Box Fresh. Uh, this video I'm reviewing uh, this 10 bur 20 litre backpack which I bought from Amazon. Um, there aren't, there's a, I think there's only a couple of reviews on there and they all seem sort of a bit negative. So this is what it looks like. So I've already got loads of kit in there already. Um, so it's got a cool uh, reflective stuff on the back there. Um, it's got a side pocket here. This This side actually goes into your I've got two. I've got a GH4 there, and then I've got a GH5 up here. And on the other side, you've got a compartment for water. Um, you can put a water bottle on there or something. Um, so my setup for the front, I tend to have my batteries in here. Um, I've got loads of like these Sony batteries. Um, GH4, GH5 batteries, double A batteries in there as well. Um, so that's pretty good. That's my setup. So they're all charged at the front, charged batteries. When a battery's dead, um, you flip it over and then you can uh, uh, put all your stuff in there. So to access the GH5, you just do this on there. So you've got a Side compartment here, I put memory stuff, memory cards in there. Zip that up. So I'm doing this one handed. So there we go. Um, so to access it, you have to flip it, put it on its front. Um, so if you are doing this in a muddy field or something, then that might be a, a problem for you. So you unzip it around the sides here. flip it open and there's all my stuff there um so this is i'm just uh in a couple of days i'm just going to to a hotel in london some guys doing a piece to camera you know fairly straightforward stuff but i've got gh5 gh4 just in case the gh5 self can self um blows up or something something for to blow your lens i've got these aperture um lights here which are excellent uh, they're very um i mean there's no weight to them you just stick them on the front of your rig and you're ready to go. Um, I've got another aperture light there. I've got a... Um, so I've got a top light here, an aperture top light. I've got a, a um, Filmaster uh, monitor there. I've got a XOR wireless plug-on transmitter. I've got uh, Sennheiser G3. I've got a lapel microphone and a, tra uh, a transmitter and receiver um, probably know what those are I've got a Rode Video Mic Pro I've got a Sennheiser MD46 a cardioid mic which I use for events I've got some cable here just in case this plug-on transmitter doesn't work I've, I can convert an XOI into that and just plug it in I can just I, you know I can just plug it in anyway but I find wireless is much more easier um, and then you've got a side thing here. You can put a 15-inch laptop in there. Um, what I also take with me, so I am driving. Normally, normally I use public transport. I can get a train up from Southampton um, for 40 quid. And then, you know, if, if it's 9 a.m. at an office somewhere, I get a train up and then I just get a cheap coach back. So I use public transport quite a lot now. So if I was getting in the coach, I could just take this uh, a Manfrotto tripod. Um, and then sometimes I use a portable LED light. So I've got a, a very lightweight stand. So both of these go, go into there. And then this is the LED light, which is the size of an iPad. It's very lightweight. But what you can do is uh, put this. can actually put this light I'll just show it to you so this is an aperture uh, light which is excellent I've had this for about three years now but you can just put this in in this section here you just put this in into here So that's for that's fits a 15 inch 
a 15 inch laptop or you can just put this in the front as well or sometimes just get a bag for life chuck that in the bag for life and then you can take your sandwiches with it as well so um, I find this uh, backpack excellent um, it's obviously quite expensive but before this I, I used a Amazon basics lap um, bag which had um, the um, just take that out the uh, zips would come undone at the top of it um, I have I, I was uh, I was running from well walking fast from Canary Wharf to uh, from a uh, uh, office in Canary Wharf to Canary Wharf tube I did I did notice this um, this was sort of a bit open like this so whether that was my user error my problem or not I'm not sure but um, I haven't noticed it since I'm not sure whether that was obviously my problem my fault or not it's also got a feature where these come out um, when I pick the bag up to put it on you, you pick it up like this and it, it may be because you know that these can come out um, you're sort of like a bit like oh you know I hope this doesn't just fall off my shoulders but um, so this is it here so what you do with this card thing here you just put it around the back here and you just ram it down there and it sort of you can adjust the straps um, I tend I've adjusted them a little bit um, I mean if that's I'm six foot two ish so if that if that's your height there that's possibly where you want to be it's got loads of other straps here so it's nice and secure it's comfortable to wear um, I do find I need to put the uh, the straps thing. So this this one here goes goes round your chest, and this one goes round your midriff. This can come off, but um, yeah. So um, I've had this for about uh, uh, about six months, and it's really good. I would uh, suggest uh, getting. I did kind of opt for this one because it's not so known in um, in the UK it also comes with a, a rain jacket as well um, water cover um, which is very easy to put on um, so yeah um, it looks kind of cool it is quite expensive but um, I would buy it again